I was very excited when I found out I was going to be in this issue because I knew that it would make my wife very, very happy. She was so excited that she'd be able to tell people that her, that her husband was in the, you know, sexiest man alive issue. A movie that you don't need to pay too much attention to so you can sort of talk to each other and then go out to eat and then end it with, you know, a little kiss and a little laugh and that's perfect to me. Oh no, let's see. I'm terrible at pickup lines. I don't think I've ever done one that's been good. I don't know, I don't have anything. I blank, that's my problem when I try to ask you know, someone out. I'm so glad that I'm married now and I don't need to worry about that because the idea of going up to a woman nowadays and trying to figure out a pickup line, I don't think that would work for me. I think it was in third grade, the girl named Melissa. It was summer and it was my first girlfriend I ever had and I remember we went to the movies and we were sort of waiting for my parents to pick us up. I think we were very curious since we just exchanged a little peck and we left it at that, it was perfect. When I was in fourth grade, I spent $30 on a bouquet of flowers for this girl that I had sent over to her house and on the card I had written, I love you, hoping that she would go out with me and then the next day at school, it just turned out to be a laugh fest where everyone thought I was ridiculous for going so over the board. It was very sad, it was very sad.